we took action in front of a research deep sea mining vessel called James Cook. Wah. Wah. Yeah, fuck, <laughs> fuck James Cook. Um, so we jumped in front of the ship with our, with the Tino Rangatira Tanga flag, the flag that represents Māori sovereignty, which I found out some of my relatives actually helped design like a couple of decades ago, which is fucking cool. Awesome. But we waved the Tino Rangatira Tanga flag in front in the face of the coloniser, as well as a banner that read Stop Deep Sea Mining or Ban Deep Sea Mining. I forget which one it was. Um, my beautiful friend here, Mihita, a Greenpeace activist, Greenpeace campaigner. Um, but yeah, it was, it was beautiful to connect with other Pacific delegates who, who have shared understanding, who who frame the protection of the planet around their ancestral stories and where they've come from as people. Um, a lot of the time it can be really difficult to get involved in, in activism, specifically environmental activism, because there are all these technical things that you may need to understand, um, what they're actually mining at the bottom of the water, saving trees, and then when you have a, gr- a generation of rangatahi that just want to be able to survive, sometimes it can be too hard to, to get involved. Um but yeah, it was fucking, it was wild. It was wild. Oh, that picture of that massive, Taylor, if you don't mind, uh, I think I sent you on your, um, I sent you a link that has a, a picture, if you, if you don't mind having a look. It, it says a lot mm. because it, it's, 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 a, it's a poetic mm. representation of, of what the big man mm. is, but what resistance means as well, mm. right? So I guess in that moment, looking at that huge thing with the James Cook <laughs> written in it. Mm. You you won't forget the moment that, that felt pretty pretty powerful. Yeah, fuck. It was it was I weird it was it was scary. And I think we could we could focus on like the, oh my God, you jumped in front of a ship, but the core do I really want to speak about is the fact that um, we we this coming July decision makers will get to to decide essentially whether deep sea mining will become a thing in Aotearoa up to 30% of the world's oceans could be absolutely destroyed forever this is um modern day colonization this is neo colonialism what what what, did, what what is their side of the story of saying that it has to be done did you get into those details as well so there's conversations from big big industries and a lot of these industries and and huge companies that are wanting to mine um, the deep sea that are wanting to get the huge ships to destroy our fucking planet and our ancestral waters. So many of them have been dropping out over the past couple months, over the past couple years, because of pressure from organisations like Greenpeace. And so I just want to reiterate that there's not the strewed, huge, strong industry. There are some people who are still wanting to do the work. Um, their claim is they want to gain resources. I think they're called nodules, nodules at the bottom of the ocean, in order to create things like. Um, hospital hospital equipment for use in hospital um things that are used to create electric vehicles which is all bullshit they don't they no longer use whatever materials it is it's, that's at the bottom of the ocean to create electric vehicles um but yeah i don't know they just want to make money they're telling investors one thing you're going to get rich you're going to get super famous but then they tell the planet well this is this revolutionary science we can mine the ocean sustainably which we know to be false 